This is Mike Vesol. He's representing this contemporary house. And Mike, I have always seen you in contemporary properties. Is this the kind of place you live? Uh, it is actually, and it's a you know, we're young. We we like the new trends, and this is you know definitely one of the latest and greatest styles and trends that you see in the marketplace. Tell me so, about this. Tell me about this cedar cladding on the top. It looks great on this. Uh, uh, part that projects. Yeah, everyone uh, kind of compares us to a studio dwell home or, you know, everyone, uh, you know, really likes the style. We wanted to make two homes but make them a little bit different, so that was his, you know, way of differentiating the two houses. Um, you'll see in between the houses and a lot of the, uh, the details inside the house kind of flow between the outside and the inside. Um, you know, so he's done a really nice job with, uh, you know, even the cedar decking all the way around the house, the divisions between the homes, and uh, you know how we've kind of made a community of living here. And what's nice too, there's low voltage lighting all around the outside perimeter, so around the the garden area, around the walkways. This passageway between the two houses is really cool. Yeah, and he, he's tied in the uh, the cedar you know dividers to give a little more privacy, and uh, just everything's very cleanly done. And nice frosted privacy doors and glass. Oh yeah, and um, nice. It's a, a center entrance, so it leaves a lot of functionable space in the front uh, of the building. A lot of these stairs. These are great. absolutely. So the stairs are all custom designed by the builder. You know, the glass, frameless glass. Yeah, and supported and just on the one with the one beam. Yep, it looks great. So a living room, which is nice space, you know. We've had a lot of activity in this house so far. A lot of people wanted a nice formal dining room, so they wanted to use this space for that. Um, and it's nice you have the, the front view of the of the yard. Again, um, this is that glass balcony we were looking at. Yep. And then uh, it's nice with the fireplace. He's built it off center with the Corian surround. And yeah, that's I just, nice. And I like the wood of the floor running right up the wall. Yep. That so feels he, good. he did the wood paneling going all the way up, which is just a really nice touch. Another thing to note too, when you're coming through the home, you can see you know the by levels, and you just really opened up the space you know to uh, you know coming up the stairs. You can look down into this yeah. area, which just is just a really cool feature of the architecture. Yeah. So Mike, you're Ryan Anthony Mazzoni, who designed yeah. this, and Anthony, one of the reasons to bring you in here is this is just a totally cool kitchen. Tell me what you were trying to accomplish. You designed it yourself. Uh, yeah, myself, my company, that's what we do, is design kitchen yeah. bath, uh, interior design. Uh, but my company also, we manufacture the cabinetry throughout the house, and we also manufacture for other developers. Oh, do you? Yeah. So what, what was the look you were going for here? I, this island, this their peninsula, is so great. What were you going for? Very clean, but yet open. Um, and also, to have a lot of storage, which we have on the back wall. We wanted to use more than just one element, meaning that we have an acrylic, high gloss material on the back wall with double ovens, a heavily yeah. integrated refrigerator. Um, yeah, we saw the refrigerator in the other way. It opens out of the black there. This right here, yeah, correct. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> have you done this kitchen in another property site? Have you done this before? Well, this is a very unique design because it fits to this space, but I mean, this style of what we offer, um, it's just going to be designed to whichever house you know we're, we're building or whichever one we're designing for, you know, let's say, an individual client as well. Um, but here we also use the teak veneer uh, to complement the uh, high gloss black uh, acrylic, and then also the countertops, it's a very soft look where it's not a granite or a marble, it's just a solid surface material. What do you mean by a solid surface material? Uh, it's solid all the way through. Uh, the material that you have so, uh, is a half inch thick and it's built up around the edge. It's manufactured? It's manufactured, yeah. Oh, wow. And these, I was totally in love with these burners. Who, what brand is this? Uh, it's Smag, it's an Italian company. They're not very big in the U.S. Uh, they're more popular with the Italian, uh, the German kitchen manufacturers, us. Mm -hmm. They're so space age. Yeah. Nice double bowl sink. And what I like about this is that we come right in off the hall to the sinks. Right. That gives us the privacy zone before the master bedroom. Right. But show me this door you were talking about. In the shower, um, what we did was we have a totally glass enclosed shower. We have doors on both sides. The door to the shower also acts as a door that separates. Oh, cool. The bath side to the water side. Nice. So I can only use that. I can't have the shower closed if the bathroom is closed, obviously. Correct. So and let's talk about this tub. The nice tub. tub. Yeah, the tub. We have a uh, a ceiling tub fill. 
Oh, great. Can you turn that on for me? Sure. sure. I can do it. Cool, Mike, you <laughs> Nice. Let's go on into this room. Frosted glass on the doors. Yeah, these are made by Nico as well, my, uh, my company of the... Can you swing one of those open for me? Yes. Slide on open for me? Sure. So most of these systems are made over in Italy or Germany, but we manufacture all this in Chicago. We're the only U.S. manufacturers. Really? Nice. Very cool. And then, of course, I've got this balcony. Yep. This is terrific. And the frame looks class again as well. All right, so now we're going to up to the rooftop deck. Yep, we have two decks up here. Two, one for Master and one for everybody else. That's right. It's kind of split in the middle with the center staircase. Uh, there's speaker lines wired up here. There's water. There's electric. Oh, this is great. They really are separated from each other. Yep. Very, yeah. Oh, this is great. So this is the Master deck. Right. Wow. Nice. As soon as you go downstairs. Yeah. Well, that's cool. What is this floor I'm walking on? This is a porcelain. Italian porcelain. Yep. Uh, and it shows up like white paper on the screen. So <laughs> nice bar. Yeah, same uh, same cabinetry as the kitchen, yep. um, except we kept it a little bit lighter by just accenting the upper cabinets and accidental glass, and then we just painted the back wall. Oh, so that's not slate. I thought from here it was slate. Yeah, no, it's just it's just paint. Just paint. Another right. thing to note too down here the uh, the backlit walls there. Backlit. Oh. So oh, there is yeah, there yeah. is lighting. Yep. Oh, that's cool. There's LED lights that run up here and that side. Yeah, right. Oh, cool. All right, and I want to see this glass gym, this glass bin gym. That about. And then all the floors are radiant down here as well. You do have a nice little feature here, with just a, an open area with um, there's a drain, so you could put. Right now we just have glass bead, but you could um, put water in there. Even the wood paneling too behind there is just really neat as well. And now here's this glass gym, right? Right. Yeah, so this could be an office gym, but nice and open. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just a white room for now, but why is it, why is it a glass wall as opposed to a wall or no? Um, well, to give yourself some kind of enclosed area, so let's say the husband wants to come down and work out at night at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock at night. He's not going to wake the kids and the wife up upstairs, but yeah, it's still open down here. It doesn't give it a totally enclosed feeling that you're working out you know, in the basement. That's great. Cool. Cool. It has a projection a lot like the front. Right. But then the cedar carries down all along here. This is a nice construction. It's just my stairs and the cantilever deck, but it right. feels like an organic part of the house. It comes right off the house. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we also have the screen fence between the two houses, so it gives it a little bit of privacy. Yeah. Um, but yet, it's not a solid fence, so we don't have any light passing through it. It gives it a much more open feel. Yeah.